Good morning and welcome. My name is Sussex Sandra and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a foundation review. It's actually a foundation I've had for about two, three weeks now. It was one of those products I ordered whilst I was away or just before I left and it arrived um, just after I left on my holiday. So it's been in the house for about two, three weeks. I just haven't had a chance to really do a proper review of the product yet. So today the foundation I am testing out today is the new one from Becca and it is called the Becca Skin Love. Love weightless blur foundation so it looks like this it comes in I think it's 24 different shades and the shades seem to go right across the breadth of, of colors so there, might, there should be a color near to your skin tone I ordered shade espresso basically because the shade I used to wear in the um, Oh, what's it called the complete foundation the complexion complete foundation the full coverage one it used to be mink but they stopped making that shade mink and I did ask uh, Becca some time ago on Instagram what shade would I order now if I wanted to order the the my complete complexion foundation again and they said the shade I should get is espresso so that's what I ordered in this so I'm going to put that on today but first of all let me uh, put something on my lips because they feel really dry this morning what I'm using is I think it was a product I've got in a uh, look incredible box sometime back it's an Urban Decay lip love lip treatment it's this I absolutely love using this it's like a honey treatment love using this to moisturize my lips at night time and in the morning it's just great because it lasts quite a long time and it, and it does well under matte lipsticks as well so need it out okay primer i'm just going to put on the illamasqua matte veil actually i shouldn't do that should i i should put on my i should put on a becca primer let me go and find a becca primer wait one minute okay got my primer the foundation i was talking about before was the becca ultimate coverage complexion cream foundation this one so this is the shade i was wearing in mink but they say they don't do this anymore and they're saying the nearest shade to mink now is espresso so it'll be interesting to see if espresso is the right color right the primers i normally use is this which is practically finished which is the becca the matte poreless primer so i'm going to put some of this on but I'm going to do what I normally do. I'm going to double prime. So the first primer I'm going to put on is this one. It is... Yeah, so the first primer I'm going to put on is this one from Becca. And it's the Backlight Primer. Is that the proper name? It's the Backlight Priming Filter. So I'm going to put this one first. I'm actually going to be working fairly quickly this morning. Because it is GSC Results Day today. I'm just going to take my daughter to school to pick up her results. So she's actually a, a nervous wreck downstairs waiting for me so I really can't take too long. I'm, she's really 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 absolutely so nervous about her results but you know what I'm actually just very pleased and very proud full stop because I think I may have mentioned before my daughter has got um, special learning needs and in the previous school she's been to, she's been to a few different schools um, They've all said, oh, she'll never get GCSEs. And they've just kind of given up on her. And this, they just kind of leave her to her own devices in the classroom. But four years ago, we, after a bit of a battle with the local authority to get herself an educational health care plan, we got her into a special needs school, but not one of the extreme schools, one that actually helps kids to actually get qualifications. And they entered her into, uh, is it four? Four GCSEs, which, you know we never thought that would happen so she's sitting for GCSE so what is it it's an um, English maths obviously uh, no five English maths art art textiles uh, citizenship and yeah citizenship so is that five I can't count but so I'm just pleased that she got entered into all of those all our hopes are on the art and textile citizenship and English um, She's not expecting anything for the maths. I'm still trying to get my head around this whole new scoring system on the GCSEs because they've gone from A's to unclassified or whatever it was and they're now using numbers so I, I have no idea what it is now. Right, let's put this foundation on shall we? I'm going to do one side of a, with a sponge and I'm going to do one side with a brush. So this is it. 
so it comes in um well it's more than 30 mil so it's, it's larger than normal so it's 1.25 fluid ounces so that's definitely more than normal which is one fluid ounces and instead of 30 mils we get 35 mils comes in a squeezy tube like this so that's kind of it's pretty actually isn't it it's very pretty and let's take this off oh and it's got a pump wonderful good right let's try this out it's going to be a very simple look today because as i said i haven't got time for anything fancy the kind of looks like it should be okay so i've just done a, a full pump mirror mirror where are you i'm so not prepared this morning it's terrible right let's put this on and hope for the best yeah this color's fine So the foundation um, is available in a few places now so i bought it from space nk online you can also get it from cult beauty again online and i'll tell you the other places you can get it from it, it is a bit expensive it's 32 pounds which seems to be the sort of normal price for becca foundations really and sort of all prices in this price this is the kind of price range i normally buy my foundations in anyway so it's 32 pounds why i wanted to try it out is one because it's becca and anything by becca i like two because they say it's light that looks all right actually let me bring you in that looks all right still showing my pores and everything but let's see what they say about the foundation online quickly so um yeah 32 pounds i'm looking at the space nk site becca skin love weightless blur foundation 32 pounds um it's already it's got four stars out of five so far on their website um the shade i've got is espresso and is that the darkest shade let's have a look what they say about the foundation is it's a weightless medium buildable coverage foundation with a velvety natural finish that mimics the look of smooth healthy skin enriched with becca's glow nectar brightening complex a propriety blend of natural ingredients and actives that help brighten hydrate and nourish the skin the long lasting foundation provides medium buildable coverage that feels weightless and looks natural on the skin the smart foundation adapts to both your skin type and skin tone as you wear the foundation oh as you wear the foundation so it should it adapt to your skin tone i can actually see that already look at that side look at that side skin adapting to its natural chemistry and undertone for your for your custom match and finish the light as air formula blurs imperfections and pores instantly smoothing skin's tone and texture for a fresh soft touch finish vitamin c boost radiance ginger nourishes and skin quenching blend of cold pressed avocado and melon extract maintain skin's natural moisture levels for all day comfortable wear okay so that sounds good all right uh, let me do this side of my face now with a brush so the brush i'm using is just a nyx foundation brush i decided to get this brush when i saw jackie Ina using it and it just seemed to give a really good coverage and i actually really like it when i put foundation on now i kind of do this and i corner and i kind of stipple at the same time so i kind of brush it on a little bit and then stipple and that seems to work for me now when I apply my foundation with a brush this brush is so soft and it just blends things out so nicely well, I'm definitely happy with the colour so I'm just going to put a little bit more on each side God, it's a very dark and miserable day isn't it very cloudy sunshine it looks like has left Britain now our heat wave is over summer is going and it looks like we're going into autumn saying that I've still got my fan on in the room because I'm still bloody hot okay I'm kind of liking the coverage
Right, how does that look? Looks alright, doesn't it? Um, colour's good, all matching. It looks overall okay, you can see that. Because I like to see that it all kind of blends together. Rather than a perfect match, I just like to see that it gives an overall good look and that looks okay. My face looks kind of glowing and just rich and nice. I, I, I like that, actually. Right, you have to excuse me, I apologise. I am working really fast this morning, so I'm just going to put a little bit of makeup on and I'm at the door before my daughter comes upstairs and shouts at me and tells me to hurry up. She's under enough stress already without me adding to it. The Revolution uh, Conceal and Define Concealer in number 12. I'm coming Gabby, I'm coming. You look lovely, by the way. What do you need? What do you need? Eyebrows. Is this a problem? Yes, it is. Bring it back when you're finished. Can you see that? She's just fixing up her face. She looks stunning, actually. She's got full makeup on today. She looks stunning. Proud mummy. <laughs> I can't do my brows because she's got the brow pencil so I'll just set my face while she's got me my stuff. Setting powder, I'm just going to use a Cover Effect um, Translucent Deep Setting Powder to give you the time of foundation application. Um, it was about 10 past 10, it's what 50, it's quarter past 10 now. So it was about 10 past 10 when I applied the foundation. I should be wearing a foundation for at least, I don't know, say about 6-7 hours maybe? Just depending on how they got how the day goes really okay that's the finished look it looks all right I'm quite happy with how it looks um, doesn't look like it's going to oxidize looks like the color is going to be true I literally put on about two pumps of the foundation on my face and just done all, done all my usual bits and bobs on my face as per usual I will list down what I'm wearing um, on the in the description box down below but yeah that's how it looks all right it looks yeah it looks all right it feels very comfortable very light it actually just feels like I'm wearing a moisturizer so this is a very lightweight foundation coverage is I'd say definitely medium to full so you can build it up I like this kind of coverage I don't want full full coverage so to me this is just a, a solid medium coverage and I'm more than comfortable with that it just looks a little bit more natural around the faces I don't basically I don't want to look like I'm caked up in foundation that's not what I like so at the moment it's looking good right so I'm gonna go now because I don't think my daughter can take the tension anymore so we're gonna go down to the school and pick up the results I'll come back to you in about four in about five hours six hours time it's not gonna be a long day and it'll give me a good idea of how this foundation performs all right I will see you all later good evening and welcome back so it is seven hours since I applied my foundation it's now ten past five just realized I didn't show you the clock app this morning so let me show you the clock app now if I can get to it all right so it is ten past five hope you can see that okay so it is it's literally seven hours since I applied the foundation this morning it's been an eventful day my daughter got her GCS results some great successes and some disappointments but we're going for, we're, we're, we're working our way through the emotional roller coaster of it all today um, but she's fine she's had lunch with her friends and they've just spent the last few hours all out at pizza just chatting and catching up with each other and so that she's okay but she's starting college in a few weeks time she's on the course she wants so that's fine it's all good so the foundation I was testing today was the Becca Skin Love. The full title is actually uh, Becca Skin Love and it's the Weightless Blur Foundation. Um, and I have got it in the shade Expresso. How did this foundation do? Well, seven hours in, I think you can see for yourself. So I'll bring you in closer so you can have a look. Um, it's a relatively warmish day today. It's about 21 degrees. I have been moving around, walking about. We've been out in the sort of where my daughter's school is actually out in the countryside. So you know, it's been nice, been walking about and so forth, and chilling out and just chatting with the other parents. So you can see what my skin is like. Obviously, I have broken out in oil. I did blot. Um, oh, I did blot with some. 
I'll tell you what I blotted with. I did blot a couple of times, just literally around my nose area, this area here. And I used the, the Fenty Beauty blotting powder. So I just used that just to do this nose area here. But I didn't do it up on my forehead and around my cheeks. Just literally just this area, which is usually where I break out in oil the most. The oil, I'd say, started to break out, I would say about four hours in. This is what I would expect when I, I expect oil breakout in a foundation that it's okay, which is a good quality foundation. Um, but this is what I would kind of expect when oil starts to break out on my skin. And it probably won't get much worse than this at this time of year. Okay, so you can see it was oil all the way through. When I look and review a foundation, I use my system called TOPS, and the TOPS stands for, the T stands for transfer, so does the foundation transfer? What is the oil control like? So that's the O. The first P is performance, so how does it apply? How did it blend? How did it feel? Did it fade? Did it separate? Did it melt on my skin during the performance? So I'm looking at all of those sort of performance factors in the foundation. Foundation. The second P is the price, so how does the price compare to other foundations in, in the bracket? And the final one is the S for shades. What's the shade range like? And is the shade range good? No, is it a decent shade range? Right, so let's go through the first thing, shall we? So when I do the transfer, I also do the oil control at the same time, and I use my blotting sheets. I must be getting to the end of this packet by now. Um, Decent foundations will use, um, I would say about two, no more than three, but usually about two, two and a half of these blotting sheets when I put them on my face. A foundation that's not so great when it comes to oil control will use three plus easily of this. So let's do this, shall we? I also expect if the foundation does transfer, I expect to see foundation on these sheets as well. But we shall see how this Becca Skin Love Blur foundation does. So this is sheet one. Okay, so that's sheet one and to be honest that is literally mainly oil there's hardly any foundation on there it is literally oil okay so that's sheet one sheet two Okay, I think that's enough, isn't it? Yeah, so that's sheet two. So there we go. So this is the main sheet with the oil in it, and this one has got a dab of oil on there. So it's got about, say, half the sheet, and there's a little bit of foundation in that central part, but hardly any. So when I school, I school out of 10. So I think going by that and the transfer, it's hardly anything. That's hardly anything at all when it comes to transfer. So I'm actually going to give this out of 10 a 9.75. It doesn't say that it's a transfer resistant foundation. Let me just double check because that's actually pretty good for seven hours of wear. Let me um, let's have a quick look. Uh, they say the benefits of this foundation, the key benefits are that it feels weightless and it looks natural, instantly diffuses the appearance of imperfections to an effortless second skin finish doesn't really say anything about oil control or um, transfer it just basically says that it's going to brighten the skin um, it's going to hydrate and nourish the skin over time to improve your natural glow okay but yeah so considering that um, I think transfer has been pretty good for oil control yes I did have oil breakout but it was well after my four hour minimums which is good because four hours is my minimum to see if a foundation can do that and then when it did break out, I did have to blot around my nose, so around these areas there. Um, but the oil did break through eventually all around my face, as you saw earlier on. So I'd say for oil control, I'm going to give this, let's say a seven, seven and a half out of ten. Because no, it's okay. It's all right. It's not fantastic, but it, it's pretty good for a foundation that's not marketing itself as a matte finish, long lasting wear foundation. For performance, well, it applied beautifully, no problems at all. Um, I wouldn't say that it it masked my pores immediately, but what I would say is once I applied all the foundation on, I left it to sit on my skin for a little, bo a little bit, um, it did look 
it just looks kind of flawless it did have a really nice effect it just it just looks nice it's very natural skin finish excuse me sorry about that someone just came to the door and it was a courier delivering another parcel so i'll find out what that is in a moment it's a bit late for a courier delivery anyways where was i so for performance i was saying that the foundation applied very easily blended out no problems at all with the brush and with the sponge there was no issues there whatsoever with that i would say that they say it gives a, a blurring effect it's kind of mass imperfections doesn't it that's what it says in the description about the product i would say on initial application i didn't see any of that i saw a natural skin finish and it did look it just looks very natural and just a nice nice polished look with a nice glow i said it had, i had some warmth um but i think other people say it, it just gave me a glow um not quite the dewy finish but it was a nice it was just a nice good healthy look to the skin what i did notice and i think after about an hour i noticed that my skin just kind of settled down to a very much a natural matte finish and my all around here because i have got some open pores around here it did look okay it looked it just looked nice it looked all right then obviously a couple of hours later the, the oil started to come through but you know if you've got dry skin or normal skin this foundation is going to look quite nice on your skin after a while actually it's going to look all right so i'd say for performance it didn't really um I wouldn't say it melted but I would say that it um, I would say that it does okay um, I would say that when it comes to the whether the foundation melts fades or separates going by how my skin looks now it does fade and I would say that it did melt a little bit I've got a little bit of gray hair here I would say that it did melt and fade away um, in in particular areas around my face so if I can bring you in closer so you can see for yourself hopefully you can see you can see the patchiness of where my skin's poking through so you've got these little dark areas here there here as well you know you can see there's just little areas there so it does melt and fade so if you have got oily skin you need to look out for that it will your skin will melt and fade i am going to give this foundation for performance out of 10 i think to be fair i'm going to give this um i don't know i'm going to give it a six it definitely faded up here i'm going to give that a six out of ten because i think it would have faded even if i just used the becca over matt paulus primer right let me bring you back out again because it's way too close and even i don't like all the patchiness on my face right now um okay so what's the other thing price so the price is 32 pounds it's a pricey foundation it, it's a very pricey foundation not sure how much it is in america let me see how much it costs in america yeah so this foundation costs 44 dollars in the states so that's a pretty hefty price 44 dollars i think if we were to convert that into pounds that would be a lot more if we converted that over here so that, it's actually a very pricey foundation um i'll be honest and i can't believe i'm saying this about a foundation especially for becca i don't think it's worth that 44 dollars 32 pounds i would put this foundation on because even though it doesn't promise oil control or anything like that i think on the performance i put this foundation on the sort of 25 26 pound price range can't believe i'm saying that about becca because i do like my becca products but i think 32 pounds is actually a little bit too much for this foundation but maybe they're just selling it based on the all the the skin benefits because it is supposed to be a skin nourishing foundation so maybe that's what it is i'm thinking a bit more on just the foundation i'm not thinking about it on all the skin properties that it has so i don't know but i still think that price is kind of hefty um i'm gonna pay the 30 pounds and i'm gonna wear it because i've got it and i do like my Becca foundation um i i prefer if i'm comparing it to the foundations i'm wearing at the moment so for example this is the this is the laura geller filter first foundation i've been wearing for the last week and a bit so i wore this all last week like i've loved this foundation absolutely loved wearing it and and i compare that this foundation is 20 depending on where you buy it from it's about 29 30 pounds for this foundation this one is 32 this is a skin benefiting foundation as well let's take it out of its tube yeah so this is a, a skin benefiting you know fancy foundation as well um so there's this this one this is more high-end i prefer this one and i can't believe i'm saying it i prefer this one 
to how it performs compared to how this one performs so I can't believe I'm putting Laura Geller over Becca on a foundation but I am to me this one performs better on oily skin how it perform how this one performs on dry and normal skin I'm interested to find out after I finish this video I'm actually going to go and check on um, YouTube and see who else has um, reviewed this foundation and how they've found it not looking for people who have just put it on and applying it I'm looking for people who have done long wear or wear tests for this foundation I'll be interested to see what they say about it right so for price yeah I, I'm gonna give that a 6 out of 10 because I think it's too expensive for what it is sorry I, I'd be more happy to say 26 to 28 pounds for that foundation um, shade range right so they have got 28 24 shades in this foundation which is good and the shade ranges do go right across the spectrum what seems to happen with this foundation is that it seems to adapt to your skin and I know when foundations say that but when Becca says that I believe them because they've got that with their their luminous foundation and I can't remember which one it's called that one's one that's only got nine shades but it does adapt to different skin tones this one's got that kind of adaptability as well so 24 shades they've got very they've got very light and they've got pretty deep i think there's about three the shade i've got there's about another three shades deeper than this so it's a good range of foundations let me um tell you let me go through the shades again so i can tell you what it says about it i could show you so right so the deepest shade is this that's chestnut Can you see that so that's chestnut and that's the deepest shade next one down is cacao yeah then we've got mahogany espresso which is the one i'm wearing so you can see there's three shades deeper than the one i'm wearing so i'm wearing espresso there then we have sienna walnut maple amber cafe fawn bamboo tan whoops tan olive noisette driftwood buttercup buff cashmere Vanilla, sand, shell, porcelain, ivory, linen. I think linen is the lightest shade. Yeah, so linen is the lightest shade. So you can see they've covered all the skin shades and you know what I've, I don't know if you noticed that but I don't know if you notice in the shades that the 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 ethnicity of the person they use for the shades is what not we'd expect traditionally I like that clever Becca because you'd expect them for say linen to pick out someone who is sort of um, Caucasian so sort of white um, probably blonde hair but they haven't they've have picked out someone who's probably very fair sort of korean kind of fair so that's kind of clever and the other one i really noticed was which one was it uh oh very not cashmere so you had buff they sort of again did another sort of asian skin tone but again very fair and this is the one i really liked the buttercup so look at the woman and look at the hair texture that's that's how you Get, dispel all the stereotypes on what skin shades people are going to be I like that very clever Becca so for for shade range then I actually think it's not bad I think it's actually pretty good so for shade range I'm going to say nine and a half because you know I think they've got the uh, I think they've got the undertones covered there as well because this one was fine it, it suited me fine I like the way how they describe the foundations as well so they go into the undertones as well so if I give the example of buttercup buttercup is described as medium beige with golden undertones for light to medium skin 
the one I was wearing was Expressa. So that is described as cool brown with yellow undertones for dark to deep skin tones. So you know, it's, it's kind of cool how they've they've described the the skin tones. I really like that. So yeah, for for shade range, I'm going to give this a good nine and a half out of ten because I think it's pretty good. Um, I will put the total score of everything above. I look for. Um, for a foundation to pass for me, it needs to get above 35 out of 50. The good foundations get above 40. Um, really good ones will get about above 45. So, you know, 35 is, is a pass for me. But I actually think overall, this is actually, it's a decent foundation. I wouldn't say it's initially for oily skin, but that's just on my initial wear test today. But overall, I think it's a decent foundation decent quality I, I at the moment I'm still thinking it's a little bit expensive for what it is but I will reserve judgment for when I do my next test tomorrow I think the shade range is good I think it performs pretty good I think people who have got dry normal skin will really like that because it is very hydrating and it feels light it's just a very comfortable foundation so I think overall decent foundation dry normal combination skin I'm holding reservations for oily skin at the moment if this if you've tried this foundation let me know what you think and tell me what you think about my results today as well all right thank you very much for watching before I go just want to remind you of a couple of things so I have got a giveaway going at the moment so I've got the ASOS beauty box for August I'm giving that away closing date for that is the 29th of August to enter that all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and you have to be a subscriber to my channel I should say for at least one month and you need to enter a comment on the video on the ASOS beauty video itself so be a subscriber to my channel for at least a month and enter a comment on the ASOS beauty video so that will be your entry to win that box I'll pick the winner on the 30th so over the bank holiday weekend and I'll let the person know by the following Monday bank holiday Monday I'll let the person who's won know by them the second giveaway I'm doing is for when I hit 1250 subscribers so I've already posted a picture on Instagram of the box of goodies that I've I'm giving away and I will be adding things to that box as well so that was just the start so when I get to 1250 there will be I will be picking out anyone who subscribed to my channel and then I'll pick someone from there right thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed that if you did please don't forget to give me a like and also if you can um if you subscribe to my channel please make sure that you press that notification bell and that will notify you when i do my next upload all right take care